Jai Hind, dear children. I hope that you all got an idea about the importance of transportation of materials in living organisms from the previous video, right? And also about the different types of blood vessels and the components of blood in human blood circulatory system. Now, we can just recall those contents. Blood circulatory system consists of heart and blood vessels such as arteries, veins and blood capillaries, isn't it? And the blood is circulated throughout the body through these blood vessels. Blood consists of plasma and blood corpuscles such as RBC, WBC and platelets. Now, in this video, we can discuss about the structure of heart. This is the picture of a human heart. Most of you have seen the picture of human heart, no? From this, you can know the shape and structure of the heart. Heart is a soft, spongy, hollow muscular organ. The walls of the heart are made up of cardiac muscles that you have studied in last year. You can see the color of the heart in this picture, no? It is reddish brown in color and it is conical in shape. The size of our heart is about the size of our clenched fist and has an average weight of about 250 to 300 grams. Do you know where heart is located in our body? It is located between the two lungs in the middle of the thoracic cavity in a cardiac notch. See, in this picture, you can see an outer covering for the heart. No, What is that? It is called as pericardium. Pericardium is a tough double layered sac which protects the heart. The inner layer is called as the visceral pericardium and the outer is called as the partial pericardium. Between these two layers of pericardium, there is a cavity filled with pericardial fluid which is secreted by the pericardium itself. And its function is to provide moisture to the heart and it reduces the friction between the heart wall and the surrounding tissue when heart beats. Here in this video, you can see the movement of heart, no? So it is pumping blood to different parts of the body. So the function of heart is to pump blood to various parts of our body. Here you can see the longitudinal sectional view of a human heart. A human heart is a soft, spongy, hollow muscular organ. See, the heart is divided into two halves. The left half and the right half. See here, this is the right side of our hand, no? But we are writing here left. So when we place a heart here and keep it here, it is the left side of the heart and this is the right side of the heart. So we are labeling this as right le left half and this as the right half. Now, so the heart is divided into two halves or separates into two halves by a thick muscular structure called as septa. So septa is a thick muscular structure which separates the heart into two halves that is left half and right half. Each half consists of two chambers. Here in the left side you can see an upper chamber and a lower chamber. In the right side also you can see an upper chamber and a lower chamber. So the upper chambers are called as atrium or auricle and the lower chamber are called as ventricle. So, each half have an upper auricle and a lower ventricle. Here also an upper right auricle and lower right ventricle. And in between these auricles and ventricles, there present valves. Can you see here? Valves. On the right left side there is a valve and on the right side also there is a valve which separates or divides the 
upper chamber and the lower chamber of the heart. Now, what is the function of these uh, valves here? The left side in between the auricles and ventricles, they are present a valve called bicuspid valve. And on the right side, on the right half of the heart, between the auricles and the ventricle, they are present a valve called tricuspid valve. The valves present in both the sides, that is bicuspid valve and the tricuspid valve, provide the passage of blood from auricles to ventricles. So, the valves on both the sides provides the blood flow from auricles to ventricles and prevent the back flow of blood from ventricles to auricles. So, from the ventricles to auricles, the blood should not flow back. So, that is prevented by these valves. Now, see how many chambers are there? Four chambers are there in our heart. So, first one, the right auricle. You can see this right auricle, no? You, can you see these two blood vessels? These are the two blood vessels. So, these two blood vessels opens into the right auricle. This is, this blood vessel is called as the superior vena cava. And this blood vessel is called as the inferior vena cava. So, this superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava opens into the right auricle. Now, this is the right ventricle. This is the right ventricle. And from this right ventricle, there arise another blood vessel. And this blood vessel is called as pulmonary artery. So, from the right ventricle, there arise a blood vessel called pulmonary artery. Now, you can see another blood vessel called as pulmonary vein. And this pulmonary vein opens into the left auricle or left atrium. Pulmonary vein is another blood vessel which opens into the left atrium. Now, here the left ventricle. You can see another blood vessel. So, the from the left ventricle, there arise another blood vessel called as aorta. Okay. So, now once more I will see. There are four chambers in the heart. Or the heart is divided into two halves, left half and the right half. Each half consists of two chambers. Each half are separated into two chambers that is auricles and ventricles. And in between these auricles and ventricles there present valves. The left side there present the valve called bicuspid valve and the right side there present a valve called tricuspid valve. What is the function of these valves? They allow or they provide the flow of blood from auricles to ventricles and prevent the backflow of blood from ventricles to auricles. Now, here in the right auricle, there opens two blood vessels. They are superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. And here the right ventricle, from the right ventricle, there arise another blood vessel called pulmonary artery. And to the low left auricle, there opens another blood vessel called as pulmonary vein. And from the left ventricle, there arise another blood vessel which is called as the aorta. So, this is the structure of heart. So, children, I hope all of you understood the structure of human heart. Now, draw and study the structure and labeling of human heart. Do the assignments neatly and submit it. Okay. One more thing. Last week only some of you have submitted the notes. But others also want to study the portions properly and write the notes and submit it. Okay. Thank you.